the Grammys, when it started, uh, it was just the record of the, of the year and stuff like that. And it, it, it developed into other categories. Every year it got bigger and bigger. And, uh, and it started as a very small show, but we, it, it, we caught everybody off guard in how that show was presented. And there was a lot of performance in it. I mean, that's what made people go to the Grammys. And because there was performances and they saw them and they were live performances. And that's why the Grammys to this day does mostly live performances. It's not them using the music videos like the MTV Awards. The Grammys signature is live performances. Sometimes it might be a live vocal to backing track because that's sometimes for the practicality of getting the, the right sound back there. But that is, that's a rarity now because they may have in those days when we did the show, the audio console maybe had 20 faders on it. Well, now there might be 200 or 400 with two trucks lined up or three trucks lined up but to being able to do the kind of complex sound to get the correct sound because if they're going to do it live, they want the record sound. They don't want to sound any less than what the record is. That's a major, major responsibility. So we didn't have that responsibility because we couldn't perform it if we had to. We started on ABC. And then we, we did a remote in Nashville from the theater down, the National Theater downtown. We had rats running all over downstairs and the power went down that day. We had to go live and we had smoke coming on backstage, no rehearsal. And we had to run power, the, pour, the lightning and rain was coming down. We had to get the mayor to get stuff across and we, we got power back on. And I think a half hour before we went on the air, totally unrehearsed and we went on the air. Eve, then Eve, when ABC didn't pick up the show, Pierre took it over to CBS, they took it immediately. We, they allowed us to do more and we did more and it was a hit. ABC then, they looked silly by losing the Grammys. And that's when they came up with, um, I think it was a Dick Clark that came up with a show over there for them because it, that was, what was the a, AMA yeah, Awards? I think that's what the American Music Awards? That's right. Because that's when he created that for them to compete with the Grammys that, that they lost on contract negotiations when it went to CBS. There is no such thing as a safe show in a live show because anything can happen. And between all the power going off, an eruption in the audience, or a star not showing up, or showing up intoxicated, or whatever you might get, and that's, that's what can happen it, 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 in a live show. Because we did, the, we did the Grammys also in New York. We did it, it was, there, that was a problem. We had problem people there. Oh, we, there's always something that's unique with any kind of a live show. One of the things I brought to the Grammys is that to show the horse race. Because in the days that um, I started the Grammys, we, we didn't have every performer there in a category. I would use uh, record albums of that person and bring up one and then I'd bring up the second record album when they would mention them so you could know so you can the people at home could relate to who some of these people are if they didn't know them and then hopefully we had the winner there and we never told them who won certain award shows tell the people if they won Grammys didn't do that and I give them credit because we, we sometimes we'd have two or three people there, but not always because they were out on the road and so forth like that. So I brought the idea of educating the viewer upon the horse race between the five people. That's a mark, but now we're able to do it with the, the live shots. But I did that in other shows too, but I brought that to the Grammys.